solar cycle prediction has been an abysmal failure in the recent past. Let's take, for instance, solar cycle 24. Out of 100 top solar physicists and astronomers or plasma physicists, 99 out of 100 got the prediction wrong for solar cycle 24. The outliers that got it correct were people that didn't actually work in the field and were machine learning scientists using supercomputers to predict the periodicity of cycles from past data sets. Now, this is important information for all of us to know and understand because it is the solar cycle that controls the weather here on planet Earth and subsequently the long-term climate. Now, this may be a controversial statement, but it is 100% true. If we look at paleoclimatological data and proxy data like this, residual differential trends in delta carbon-14, we can make assumptions about what the sun was doing and the output of the sun. And those assumptions lead us to believe through analysis of this type of proxy data that the output of the sun is directly connected to temperature on Earth. This is not rocket science. This is pure observational science that all paleoclimatologists like myself have to do. And it turns out that it's been remarkably correct for eons. And our interpretations now move to the microcosm and to recent solar cycles. Because we want to know more about what's happening on our Earth and be able to predict what is happening in the future. Now you're looking at the Solar Cycle 25 consensus prediction from NASA and NOAA, which is showing Solar Cycle 25 is going to be the same as 24, clearly. Now some other scientists have predicted Solar Cycle 25 to be slightly higher than Cycle 24, as shown here in this graphic. And there are others that show that Cycle 25 will be at least half as weak as 24. Now, what we do know is that the majority of these predictions will be incorrect. And if anything, like last solar cycle prediction holds true, then most people, 90%, 99% will be wrong. I'm going to leave you links to some of the papers that predict solar cycle 25 so you can do your own research. Now, how, here we are over at the ISES solar cycle sunspot number progression, which is the most recent data, where the black triangles and the dark navy or black line, depending on how you see it, is showing you the actual sunspot numbers. And you can see we had an early peak as solar cycle 25 has kicked off here. And now they have had to shift the official prediction to the left with the new best fit. It doesn't mean that they're correct. You can see here that there was an early peak in cycle 24 and it dropped off and it stayed pretty flat for over a year before a huge spike. And we may see the same thing happen in solar cycle 25. Now, prediction of the magnitude amplitude of solar cycle 25 using machine learning the June 2019 paper, which, as we said, machine learning was the best predictor last cycle, so let's go with the machine learning this cycle. And it's showing cycle 25 is just slightly less than 24, which would be as predicted moving into grand minima, meaning cycle 26 might be non-existent or extremely low. And it even has the initial spike prediction in it, which is kind of fantastic. And we can also lay all of the last solar cycles on top of each other as a comparison, including the current cycle 25 in Dookie Brown. And you can see cycle 21 in blue, the highest, 22 in black with a double peak, first peak higher, 23 in red with a double peak, first peak lower, and then pink, cycle 24, with a double peak, with the second peak much higher. And we were looking for this relationship geometrically 
to be a precursor to kick off the next grand solar minima, which would then be cycle 25, which may start early and then drop below purple or pink here. Just like red did. It started early and then dropped below. Red is 23, dropping below 21. So, it's anyone's guess, but the international sunspot numbers shown here are showing us a huge spike, a second spike early in the cycle. And if we just lay all of that information out here, I'm going to bring you to an excellent site where they have all the predictions available for you. And this is Silso, and it's the Belgian... Let's just get you up to speed here. Silso is a great resource. They're not going to be shifting the data or uh, hiding it from you. And this is the SIDC is a department of the Royal Observatory of Belgium. And its mission is to preserve, develop, and diffuse knowledge in long-term variations of solar activity, which is what we do on the channel. So I'm pretty sure they're not going to adulterate the data. So it's a great resource for us to keep a close eye on where they have all the 12 month ahead predictions with the monthly smooth sunspot numbers as they come in. And you can see here that two of the three predictions are showing that cycle 25 is going to be higher and one of them showing it to be quite low. With the Kalman filter op optimization of the 12 month ahead predictions, again, another one being probably slightly bigger than 24 another one being around 24, and another one less than 24. So it's quite interesting to see how these progressions move through as the new data comes in, and I wanted to bring you up to speed with all of that. Now here's a composite of the international sunspot numbers and all the predictions where some Yayu put his own giant magic marker as his prediction above all the rest. And we can probably disregard that magic marker spot. But it does give you an explanation of all of the forecasts, the models, and who made the models. So you can do your own homework, and I will leave you links to this graphic for your perusal, including Zarkova's 2014 forecast, which is in the dot, dot, dot gray here. Now, we use this type of information to predict when a grid down scenario may happen here in 2023. And also changing climatic models and conditions to predict uh, flooding events down in the minimum here and snow events on the rise and flooding events and earthquakes and volcanic activity on the fall, etc. Based on historical implications where we can actually see the data. And you should be doing the same homework on your own so that you can become knowledgeable and speak to others about the science that you are well versed in. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. In a world where you need to pay thousands of dollars to get the wrong information at university, when you can simply hit the thumb up here, become a subscriber and learn more than you could ever pay for. And that's a boom. We love each and every one of you. Share this with like-minded people. Leave your questions below. And we'll see you all soon. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. And be safe. We love you. Our one-time donors, our Patreons, the heroes that share this video. We love you.